So viewers, yes, Wendy Wu Tours is synonymous with Asia. Of course, we know that. But, ready to try something different? Wendy Wu Tours is going north. North to Scotland. Yes, this autumn, Wendy Wu Tours is landing in Scotland. For the first time, a brand new tour where you'll see the very best of what Scotland has to offer. So viewers, yes, Wendy Wooters is taking the high road to Scotland this October. And who better to tell us about this exciting news, none other than Mr. Peter Crane, Global Product Director at Wendy Wooters. Hey, great to see you on Woo TV News today, Peter. And you, Andy, my pleasure to be here. Great, so Peter, Wendy Wooters, China, Japan, Vietnam, Cambodia, Central Asia, yes, of course, but Scotland? Why? What's going on? Simple answer, Andy. Um, our customers, many of whom have travelled with us for years and years and years, very loyal to us, have been desperately waiting for a year and a half now for the opportunities to Wendy Wu Tours style of fully inclusive touring. Um, and looking in our own backyard at the opportunities in Scotland, we couldn't resist the chance to put together a tour that combines everything the country is famous for. It's, it's, it's landscapes, obviously, it's culture, it's very rich and distinct culture that's so different from, from England. Uh, and also, of course, the history, the castles, the battlefields, and all that rich multi-layered history that we know is there in Scotland. So we put together all the, the, the formula, if you like, for our touring in Asia into Scotland. And we think we've come up with an itinerary that's actually more inclusive, um, more detailed and um, more interesting than anything else in the uh, in the touring market to Scotland. Wow, sounds um, exciting! Now, of course, Wendy Wu Tours is all is is known throughout the throughout the world for iconic touring, seeing the best experiences on the planet, uncovering those hidden gems. So, Peter, how is the Wendy Wu Tours magic going to play out in Scotland? Well, the, the tour we've put together is 11 days long. It starts on the 11th of October um, and it, it takes in what we describe as, as Scotland's greatest hits. That's to say Edinburgh, Inverness, the Isle of Skye, um, Fort William, Glasgow, the Highlands, uh, Loch Ness, Loch Lomond, all, all the amazing highlights of Scotland. But it also combines some of the lesser known places that f fewer people will be travelling to. So, for example, in, um, in the Inner Hebrides, we don't just visit the Isle of Skye, we also go to the Isle of Mull, which is distinct, it's different and quieter, and in many ways, um, it feels more authentic in some respects than visiting the Isle of Skye. Uh, we also go to Glasgow, for example, and do a, a, a walking tour of Glasgow, visiting the art, the architecture and the design of Charles Reddy Mackintosh, uh, one of Glasgow's most famous sons. And uh, that really gives an interesting spin on the visit to the city that I think few other operators will be doing. Gosh, sounds great, lots included. Um, so Peter, viewers want to know, we certainly do want to know, what are your top three must-sees, must-dos on this tour? Right, um, hard to limit it to three, but I, I, I think I'll go for the Royal Yacht Britannia, which is a, a stunningly interesting site just outside Edinburgh, a chance to visit the Royal Yacht and, and see where the Queen and the, the, the Royal Family spent all those, uh, all those occasions. Um, the, the visit to the Inner Hebrides, the visit to the Isle of Skye and to the Isle of Mull uh, are both sensational. 
really, really beautiful landscapes um, and a chance on the Isle of Skye, for example, to meet a local storyteller who goes beyond what you're looking at and tells you some of the stories, the myths and the legends about the island, as well as a little bit about its wildlife. Um, and the third highlight, yes, it has to be what you can see behind me here is the, um, the Jacobite steam train, which runs from Fort William to the coast at Malague. Um, one of the most dramatic and beautiful train rides, rides in the world, if not the most beautiful, uh, taking in the, the Glenfinnan viaduct that you can see on the picture here behind me, which you might recognize from the Harry Potter movies. But that, I think for most of our, uh, most of our group will be a highlight of this trip. Oh, amazing, amazing. Peter, thank you so much for joining us today on Woo TV News. And I certainly can't wait to get to Scotland this October. Thank you.